of a test of the OPS works to make sure it's not too hard to apply it, but especially my life. This is like the break for a grilled cheese sandwich or stuff like that. I don't think mm -hmm. it's like so much like that for the pop boss there. Again, it's been a while since I've been on here, so my memory's at 100% though. You know, possibly chance to experience if I bump into stuff. And some of the, some of the ghosts in the scene just need to be there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So if you like donate, you can just type exclamation point donate. Thank you. I don't know why that's that's a new thing that must be come up in the stream. I'll probably have to deactivate after the stream, but yeah, extra life helps. For the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. So many different hospitals across the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's going to be 
shop there, we can get a few checks. Bean Valley, I want to check out quickly. I don't know the exact order of the spike piece here, but it's not too
up the other side as well. So.
gonna turn out pretty bad. One, th one thing I seem to notice is that apparently. Oh, gotta start with the stuff that's coming down there. Sorry, I forgot it. my thing is off the side. Yeah, this happened when I was getting up. Hold down the certain key combination and the keyboard just starts beeping and like it's got guts explode or something like that. Not like that, just like a... It's still certainly noticeable. Yeah, Siri is one of the game's less strong, weaker suits because this much platform would be pretty messy if not done properly, and it's rarely done properly. Anyway, while we're here, we got a shop check. Bowser's got his Frank in, in his single dad gear ready. Who cares now? Who else can use his Frank in? Okay, I'm not the most used to the SNES controls on here. I'm not the one that's I can only see the super safe like that one. Oh, looks like Johnny's gonna be the boss here. Anyways, one check in find a minigame here. Just gotta talk to Garo, but yeah, I'm actually fine, I think. I'll just save just in case. Right over here, I think. 
Yeah, here's the end. It's usually a safe block in here. And there it is. So now I'm gonna play a bit of rhythm in the game. We should have to avoid Dota poking us so we can keep our stature disguise. So I'm gonna go quiet for a bit just so I can focus on this. Sadly can't skip it, but oh well. Yeah, there's a lot that has also statue, so he's just attacking them instead. And he's trying to go for a fancy reach around. And no. Game automatically gives us whatever the feather would have been. In this case, it's an item that lets us automatically run from battles. Pretty useful. And now we can fight wh whoever Birdo was. I mean, Dodo. Getting mixed up. Whoops. Mm. Actually, save, because like I said, I'm not the most familiar with using these controls. And let's take on the Hammer Bros. Shouldn't be too difficult. Because again, Dodo here is supposed to be like a mini boss that you get if you fail Mini game. Here we don't have really like, crazy stats as well. I mean, skills, like they have hammer time, which isn't that crazy as you can see. And they can do some defense if the other one dies, so they spread out the love, spread the love a little bit. Love in this case means frying pan strikes. I'm doing it immediately since it's only one on versus two fight in the original game. And Mario's level 12 now. I'll go for that attack boost. No stars from here, but. We got a flower jar for more. More hard hitting goodness. So if I remember, there is one key item that we can get. No, two key items. Two bosses. One right behind that door with Big Chungus there. And then one. One after the door first behind that door. And of course, there's two bosses, which is. Who replaces Birdo and who. And Johnny. Replaces Gatin and Dodo. I do think that it's sort of random. And the field encounter with Dota you can find in the end of the area is, is vanilla though. Because I know that there's a little spot in where you can use a power star that instantly defeat Dota at the end, but I'm not sure if that's a battle you can still get, if it's always going to be vanilla or not. Last week was randomized stuff from watching this one where Titan State does it with spell randomizer, which basically randomizes the enemy's spells so they can 
Maybe maybe some Goomba winds up with Meteor Blaster. So maybe he knows how to cast has Tamer time. Maybe the enemies when the enemies can wind up with knockouts. But the spell that just deals 9,999 damage to everyone in the party. Fun, huh? And I'll just take one more turn just. Okay, Buck does a little jawful sleeping whenever it gets back to the game, so. Let's try and match them. Oh, tough guy, huh? Nice. Yeah, you folks didn't do any randomizers? Because I've, I've done a couple of them. Obviously, I'm this one, but I also did one for the Link to the Past. I think that's like one of the first real OG randomizers. Let's go on Yoshi. Where's Yoshi? Hey! Great. Got a Yoshi. And here's the first shot. Got a room key. I think that's for Booster's Tower that. Yeah, I think it's the room in that room with all the fireball enemies hiding on the floorboards. So it doesn't have to check back there. I don't think it's like a key item back there, but I feel like it can have something useful. Like, who knows? Maybe we'll get a super suit. What does kind of stuff right now is that you know how I'm doing some game writing for a game called Monochrome RPG that's coming out later this year? Well, kind of they're winding it down in the writing for the first game right now, so there's not really much to do right now. If you're lucky, I might be one of the people who's able to read over the script and find places and stuff, but help them not, not start looking for other stuff. It does kind of suck because my two current jobs are. Oh, jeez, I was trying to pause, but the guy snuck up on me. Oh, I'll give you some experience, I guess. Real part time job right now doing some news and review stuff. It only pays about $15 a month ish. I mean, a week, a day. But yeah, either way, not a very good amount of money. Definitely not what you call living wage, at least. Yeah, it kind of sucks because, you know, if you want to get some of this cool Mori merch that just released, it kind of so well right now. Yeah, Mori did just. Omocat just launched one of the Mori merch on the, on their, on the official Omocat store. They got a bunch of t shirts and some posters on there. Personally, I've been buying that land for a poster. Coming up in just a sec. Well, as soon as I bash this guy out. Here's the poster I'm talking about. This one, Lamp Room poster. You know, just setting something down, it's everything we crazy wild outside, just some scribbled over pictures, some black photographs, the light bulb of not repressing your traumas, able to stare in the back, and good old something hanging out right there. I remember seeing them. Umbo Cat Sheriff, the official things. With, like a little postcard of it, and I was just now out loud. Looking at this made me laugh because no so Sunny's right eye is covered. Remember what happened at the end of my playthrough when you know he and yeah, anyway, yeah, let's let's go for shirts and stuff here and posters too. 
something like from like the 2014 release of the game. Or 2014 from like some older content art or something. But anyway, let's get back to the game. I've now eat up some of this old inventory stuff. I gotta remember that Mario has group hugs, so I should have him using that. Gonna have to push away from this big guy. Jeez, I forgot I had to actually interact with the door to open it, but... Again, more experience is always welcome. So I do get the feeling I'm getting to level for this kind of game, even if I do have sick weapons. That's usually what you do with Bowser and... You know, I got a better idea. You know what's a Homer Simpson? So long, suckers! There we go. And either this boss is based for it or... We're gonna have to actually fight the boss to see who it is. I'm guessing the latter. Egg. It's basically long. Shouldn't be too much deadly than the original. I'm not sure what it'll do with beating Mallow, because I know I'm the first game to temporarily remove him from the fight. 
think you have to smack them around to get them spitting out a while. I'm not sure you can do that to like random party members, you can just scripts only do it to Malo. Makes sense if it's the first one, because Mal goes to the that was scary! Might not be free him. I'm not sure they have that for the other characters. Mala has a safety ring on, so he'll be fine. There we go. Now we're making the donuts. These ones are boiling hot, so. Oh, I guess it is just a random party member, so. So long, Mario. Oh, they just removed the whole thing where they. where they say it's Mala's zone. Check now. We oh, got the shed keys. Yeah, it's Mario on the right, so. Let's wait for us in so we don't get blown off. Okay, next time I'm coming up there, I'm gonna smack it around with it, buddy. Yeah, I'm running into everyone here, huh? Not too mad about though, because at least this means I got a lot more experience. I guess I am feeling a little bit under level right now. Stuff going a little right now, just. Things are going to rush for me, still looking for that full time job. But I'm not trying. Scarf, um, I'm not sure it does anything other than the defense. This makes us protect against a lot of stabs for things, except for instant death. And Malice version gives us all, gives all that plus instant death and makes it makes immune to elemental damage. Well, except for the jump element, but that's only used by Mario. Again, I find it very helpful that what happens is elements in the game are fire, ice, lightning, and jumping on enemies' heads. Makes me wonder if there's a fire elemental and ice elements and all that, what a jump elemental would look like. Probably just Mario. Never makes no sense. Granted, you can't come up with all sorts of crazy spells and jump jumping as close to like fire or something. Fire spell, you can get creative with stuff like coverizing wings and stuff, but jumping is just jump, jump even better, and jump really, really good. I was gonna say, yeah, waste your, waste your stats and you can mark a mallow, but no. Gino's a shroom now. This is nice that the game gives you a little regen thing on your shroom. All the games aren't really that nice. Let's Busy with stuff like I'm gonna do some super animal royale tomorrow. Mountain space issue to teach us to get back into swing a bit. And Vine and Isaac's gonna be on Wednesday. That's gonna be a big one, because that's definitely one of my favorite games on Steam. I think I have a few thousand hours of it if you count both versions of it. 
has some like the original version of repentance. I mean, rebirth. But as many stores you can sneak around. And it looks like you gotta fight him. Nintendo may say no, but we've clearly seen that it takes that thing off at times. Like the Mario Kart series. I'll go for the special attack. Like my help out with healing. So here's the part where I was talking about with the new Spilly Star that one potentially always we know a battle with Dodo. So got all these bluebird guards hanging around here. You're supposed to be able to sleep by them. We fall out of the palace. This man forgets to look where he's walking. These guys do a lot of damage. I mean, it's not blizzard on Mario. There's tons of good to know. Then we're gonna keep the deck. You can stab that guy. Probably not gonna heal since he has a big shell. Kind of good color, but you know. And he's launching. Oh, God, he's launching. Bird person, or is that like a person inside a suit of armor that's designed to look like a bird? I don't know. Need to. Nope. Oh. Really sucks that these guys are so slow. Mario could be going down. Yeah, let's get out of here. I think the little yellow eye is supposed to just be like a generic, this is an item thing, because I know that's the kind of thing that gets knocked out of you when you're fighting Croco and he steals your items this second time around. Come on, Mario, give us all a hug. There we go, that makes it a lot better. Best way to deal with hypers are with crew points. Buy some more items, though. There we go. 
We just eat him out of the way. I mean, Dodo, I keep getting mixed up. There's only one that's a dumb extinct bird, bird and the others. Maybe there's something that lived on an island for, for years before little colonialism got him killed. Okay, that's not true. I mean, Birdo wasn't dead yet. But I still have that fight with my old friend. Monsters in the Mont Jinx's Doe Trail. Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break real quick because I gotta go take Desi out to pee and some other stuff. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Back, everyone. So let's see. Just want to make sure, check on my party soon because as soon as I jump up there, I'm gonna have to fight with Johnny. So I think I should be fine with this setup. So let's go say hi. Johnny's trying to make sure him, and suddenly everyone's all excited. Holy shit, a real life pirate! Is it true you drink tons of rum? Do you have an iPad? Check out. And we just come and speed him up instead. Murray shakes his fist in his face. The thing about Johnny is if you want to kill some of his bandana blues, but not all of them, because you get rid of all of them, then um, John Murray forced the main party member to one on one fight. The other two just sort of stand in the sidelines. <laughs> I'll kill off all but one of them and then just have fun. No whale on Johnny. And 
a huge one plucked in donations for extra life, so if you ever feel like donating the money, you can always just type exclamation point donate. <laughs> remind myself who's actually pure in this game. They do. I don't know why I was thinking that. You know, pick up my new games lately because I know that one game that came out recently is Balance Wonderland or whatever that is. I haven't heard good things about it. Like, I remember people talking about the demo launch that crashed with it, and then there was a you know, bug people found during the pre release copies or whatever. Where during the final floss, floss, there's like a flashing white light effect that happens. I mean, remember hearing that, you know, it's obviously seizure risk because, you know, we all remember what happened to Cyberpunk 2077. But then, apparently, some other people who aren't seizure prone have also flashing this kind of So, that's getting fixed in the day one patch, but, you know, not very optimistic about the game. Shame though, because it really did have some good style. I'm not sure style's gonna be enough if the gameplay isn't that good. Like, there are people showing off one power, which is basically turns into a box randomly, and you keep your momentum so you can never go sliding off a cliff. Seven seven baby. Alright, just double checking what is yeah, not terrible. Nothing from Johnny by the way, now there's star piece of more cool items, so let's see where I think I was gonna check out the, the store too, because I think I vaguely remember where I can get a star. No, not a star piece, uh super suit. I think it was here. Let me go check here. One of these shops has some stuff. Not you. I think it's you. Yeah, you do. Very nice amount of money. I'm gonna have to get more pick me ups though, so. Instead, we're, let's go into the. Shrock Hunter going to the extra life fund. As in, giving my friends extra lives, not 
Not extra life themselves, sadly. Right, I already got the thing from there. Okay, let's pick up some healing items. Not sure which still has them. Yeah, I could probably use a safety badge. I'm protecting against instant death, but still pretty good. I'm safe from most well, every status condition except for death itself. Check out Malt Town, just see if they have anything that's, that I can use in less drastic situations. And then Mary Morn, and I think I'll check out Star Hill, because I know Star can spawn there. Like it does in base game, but I'm not sure if I've checked it yet. Check out Star Hill. I haven't checked seen the last night, but essentially seeing another round of his gong show don't make us bored last night. It's usually on Tuesdays, but he had to move it tonight, I guess because there's I'm not sure exactly. I think it's just some problems with the fact there weren't as many submissions. It was pretty interesting, like I like saw some playing chess too, the sequel to chess, which I don't know exactly know the name of the guys who made it, but it's kind of interesting. Just, you know, some attempt to try and revolutionize just like different sets, like the animal set, where it has like an elephant that can kill its friendly pieces as well as enemy pieces. And when it kills pieces, it has to move all three tiles it can move. Or the empowered queen, who actually sucks and can only move as much as a king. The big, big change in rules in basic, but what I like to call the football rule where. Where you win the game by moving your king across the halfway point of the board. Interesting decisions, but you know, don't think it actually did well. And apparently, they showed off Genesis more, more out there. That's a new game that looks pretty fancy. I didn't watch it because I kind of wanted to see it for myself later and actually play it. But Anyway, it looks like there's no star up here, because there would be one in the northeast corner if there was. So, what else? I'm pretty sure I already checked Seaside Town. Let's... Right, I can open up the shed, I think. Yep, there we go. Everyone run out quickly saying thank you. I know you gave us an Asher. So useless. Not only is it a weaker weapon, what we have that has some pretty bad damage for it. Lazy Shell actually has more, but it has just this enough attack power that doesn't really matter. Right, there was the room key. I can get into the booster's tower, I think. A little place in there. At least I think that's the one that's for. Shouldn't be too fat. Juggling. It has special purposes besides for just getting into the casino where if you get to the casino you can also talk to Greek guy if you have a secret score being Cindy and Smith if you have all six the other star pieces. So you'll always have the last one you can just work past all the factory stuff.
definitely more because you can't run from the as well. Hey Maddie, how's it going? Need some new love right now? Finishing up the run of Super Mario Brothers RPG just so I could test out the settings on the new OBS. Normally just very optional. Not really important here. Although you can do some kind of funny stuff to get super max all the way, like you can skip to like this big opening shift here. Well you can actually go faster than if you get stuck on some good speed sometimes, you know. And I'm not in the mood for gambling on six experience. Yeah, one more, one more of these guys. Because that really helps me out. I'm fairly close to my big goal of 50, which I think is near the end of the range. It's like a waste of seconds just looking back to one where I only heard one clang. Yeah, here we go. Get in here. A little bit stiff. Not, not that great. Get out without getting any more fireballs. So let's see what else there's. Two checks in Barrel Volcano, a check in Monster Town. And then there's, I think, a check in Land's I think I'll go check that one next. Because I figure it'll be easier than trying to fight Valentina with Jinx 3 stats. Land's End isn't one that people usually check at first because it's kind of fucking far. Oh, and there's that weird little gas cloud in me, whatever it is, flying around there. I'm not sure what exactly he's supposed to be. He's like a sort of side boss or whatever, but because he has a little boss in his game to fight, but it doesn't really give anything fancy to kill him, so I'm just letting him go. I think his name's like you know, Kuka or something. Well, it's not too much of a lot of enemies in this area. It's one of the longer areas in the game. It's a Japanese game right here, so I don't think it's supposed to be. I mean, the name says Japanese, but the armor says not. And shoot the geckos out of everyone. I'm gonna make you the proc because I have like two left before you can officially get into the, into the final two areas. You see this back, the bell just casting the back. Also melt and cast a Jeremy Joe. I'll just go fist that can have some nice defense. And Joe Tube's got some magic. Some shocker magic. I'm not sure if I'll bring her back and go. I'm gonna check her stuff right now. Now I'm thinking about it. Gecko. Get 
Actually, gets us very early for some funny strats involving jump running from enemy and jumping on your head and doing a little post flea invincibility. If you do a little shy with it, because the end says that basically you're not supposed to be here and you should probably just turn around now. You can't fight if you want, although it probably ends badly. I'll just do I'll just party wide. And I'll just throw away the crappier version. Not something we can use very often since they have group hug. But it is on Mario, and you don't think you has any sort of useful stuff on him. At least in terms of status and units. What is this guy again? Oh, safety badge. Actually, yeah, he's fine against everything except, except for the biggest one, so. So what's in here? Ooh, tenor cards, so better stuff at the shop. So I call the shop. Get that look over done here. Just quickly checking how much money I have, because I know there's a few things in here that this place that requires some money. Not like in here, but up ahead. In the land's end area. Yeah, let's keep going. Next up is the desert area where you just gotta to the world without the Shogun Yansen. Which kind of sucks because the Shogun Yansen usually insists on fighting you when you beat him, so... Almost pretty, you can just jump on his head for what money, but... It's really better just to fight him. Hit the third guy, because Carnicus is usually supposed to be pretty nasty attack when they use it. It's basically a heavily magnified disc attack. Getting it does actually unlock the last thing we can get from Todovsky. Come on, let me in. I guess you have to jump in. Last one before we get to the next area. And 
finally. Mm -hmm. Okay, quickly save here because I'm gonna get a start here. And if I die, that means I can return here. Just get the start again. Here we go. This is a treat. This is why I want the 500 coins here. Oh, it's only 400 coins. Yeah, I'll take that star. And now, time for round two. Round two, fight! <laughs> Man, just knows that Mario has a pretty bad magic defense. Do you have the temple key here, actually? Yes, we do, so... So yeah, just gotta get a fortune from this guy. So we go for this one because it gives us a heal, full heal mushroom. This is just a weird item. Has a chance to turn enemy into an item. Or Yoshi can just give you Yoshi can't do which is heal for 100. And this one heals a nice amount of health for everybody. I'll get rid of the English this time. Let's have a bit of long animation though, it's downside. Rare scarf, not that useful. Okay, so we're gonna be giving away the temperature now. Lots of good stuff. damage everyone in the battle. Bit of long animation though, so the downside. Bunch of fog coins, some flowers the size of Mario. Ooh, an ultra hammer house. Anyone else to be able to equip that? Yes, but of course you guys, as for you. Oh, it's better than this you know, star gun, so cool. Got an upgrade. And a right and a basic bitch mushroom. And now I just gotta hit the sink again so we can actually get move forwards. We don't have to like pay for a fortune every time, just gotta go in and out until it says it. There we go. So who's at the end of the temple? We think it's another one of the factory bosses. Okay. Which one are you getting the clerk? Yeah, in terms of the of the last boss, these guys are pretty boring. <laughs> Most of them are looking at another one that's different is director. He's the one with like the big freaking tank called Gun Yoke. You know, the one that the Axum Rangers have. Have I fought them yet? I don't, I don't think I have. Stuff on this defense. And this offense, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
get castles, high defenses. It's not me buddy. Even lazy Del does seem to cause some glitch in the background. Maybe it's just me. Well, he's gone now. Start here, but I do unlock that check with two thousand. So I'm not sure I have to actually check the star to get it to register, but we'll do that anyway. What a beautiful dance! Got the guide for the game up here on the side. Well, the radar measure guide, which writes like tips for the actual game, so. Mostly just have the tadpole pawn side quest. Other than that, I'm pretty good at every game in general, but. Okay, so now that I'm. Now I got the best card I can selling. Going fire bombs, okay. Okay, little anarchist. It's nice to know. Okay, uh. Should be it. Hey, we're musicians. Oh, we got a regular item. So what do we got now that we're mob boss? I shouldn't have watched the Sopranos, but I just know that. So now you're selling cookies and. Multi mushrooms. Okay. Didn't make signals there, but okay. Okay, just trying to think. Any other key items I might have missed? Because I don't think I have the bright card yet. Let me take a look at the guide quickly. Wait, I did see two chests in that when Mario was falling. I don't think I got the stuff from the seed side quest. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm still shopping the cards. Okay. Well, I guess it makes sense since you can only get those items after you beat Bounty in the main game. Sure, I got the yeah, I got the mozo stuff. Let's see. Just doing a very quick review. Let's see. Definitely sure I got the key flag here. Yes, I did. Don't have the rare frog coins, so I couldn't trade enough if I wanted. Pretty sure I beat the boss band this way. No, oh, I'm just gonna go to Bear Volcano. Okay, whatever. There's an item I can get in Nimbus Land that I'm gonna check out. So I'm almost certain I have a thing where you can get the bright card. Or just get straight to Smithy after you got all six star pieces. Anything good for me, buddy? Oh, 
Hey, there we go. That's what I'm looking to see. Maybe I did put the seed in fertilizer rotation. But whatever, now we're, now we're just about set for Smithy. Now let's just go jump into the volcano. Ah! This is a terrible idea! Correct, the last two star pieces should be in here, and then we should be able to go straight to Smithy just by going to the casino. You missed! And Mario was set with Brights' is miss with a slim and ten minutes You know, it's I usually do when I go to the casino and I never have to get a slot machine. Casting Valor just has a whole bunch of little babies drip on the wall. This looks so kind of weird. I'm supposed to like represent your paternal instincts kicking in or something. That makes, that makes sense, I guess. I'm going that route. Try and hit the magma guys first before they boost their defense. I almost forgot about the star. Yeah, it's kind of funny to scan. The better you are at dodging enemies, the more under level you can be. Hey, there's a good pop copyright infringement con. Let me better DMCA con. Just rolls off the tongue a little bit better, right? don't you think? I'm trying to think what what kind of food is going to be from these rounds. Probably an apple, you know, just like the act. by Hiopio, I think his name is. It's supposed to be off, you know, the Japanese name for the toad, Hinopio. Yeah, it's really important that you kill the body of those bird babies or whatever they are first, because if you don't, then they will cast my brain, which is an instant spell. And only one of our two people here are immune to it, so... Okay, my house is going to cost you a quick plate. Wait, 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 wait,
Goma on fire. Does kill it. I think for skeleton. I love all the cut confusion that happens because of the randomizer. Tra transforming each other characters all of a sudden stuff. It's really fun if you give someone a Bowser weapon because his weapons just tend to really mess with the game's sprites. I was getting the first good hit on the smudge before I use a foul run. Pretty good, yeah. Nice. And kill stump. Or stump it. Yeah, stump it. I'm not talking about those YouTubers. Stump it's getting angry. Man helps you with that from beatings. Don't you know that when you're really pissed off? When you're getting mad, doesn't it help you just to get beaten up? That always calms me down. Actually, no, it doesn't, because that's just not at all how it works. It's going for another eruption. Can we knock him out of time? Yes, we can. Do you know your face is looking a bit weird there, buddy? No, I know. Oh, now I finally learned his base spell. Now go for more magic. And now Gino's learned how to hug. How nice. It's not much of a mage though, it looks like. At least this run. I'm gonna have to break triple digits. And let's move on. I think in the next run is where we can heal the other. As soon as we get by these spiky boys. And the SCA Kong. Yeah, so remember I think the first person's change Kong that means he actually tells you not to confuse him with someone else and psycho past him. In the Japanese version, they just actually give a generic sort of this person doesn't resemble anyone else alive or dead sort of statement. But they had to cut it down in the American version because of character limits. Crazy there. I mean, uh, I already got a star egg, so. I don't think his armor is very interesting. So I'll just sleep here. Sleep on a nice, comfy mattress of boxes. Face down. And I think the safe thing is out here. stronger for minions. I'm curious guys are bad bombs. They all instantly die when they switch the so that's important to know. Let's try Thunderbolt just somehow. Oh, 
took out as many things at least at this stage. That's good to know. Or one could just instantly attack. Like right when he spawned. And fun fact, in the Japanese version this game was in fact supposed to be James Bond. Well, at least I think that's what it it's gonna be in the American version, but copyright reasons and all that. I mean, that's why he introduced himself as My name is Nello. Punch him, Nello. Nice. Bounce the star on his head. Not enough for his minions, and that does some good damage. Don't die on me, Martin. Come on, give him a hug. about that star egg. Now time for show. Riveting. But it clears out the enemy, so who, who might argue? And Mario. Give him dinner on the show. And let's see crush this time. Just want to see how much more damage it does compared to the thunder. A little bird that randomly flies by at the end. That's supposed to be like they're so boring that they're just. Let's see if we can clear out the bombs with this. I guess it's a dark enough for Valentina, so... I'm just finding Gino's you know, stats quickly. He should be good against Dodo. Because I think Dodo's mainly melee. And there's a little bit where to chase out the wolf of the this boss is. I mean, it's Rangers, but...
Oh, it's Jinx. Martial artist. Oh, this is Russian missions. Just like an automatic counter will sometimes do a physical attack. Just 
want things out even more because it's like just like that. There we go, finally. Oh, oh this magic defense, so sure. Hey, there's one more. And I just need to one wonder if we have to finally be able to actually do the final boss. Party's fully healed, good. So now time for round three of Jinx. I'm pretty sure it's round three. Oh wait, I, I was wrong. And Valentina was Jagger, so we're fighting Countdown instead. So this is Jinx too. Deadly this is gonna be because I know he has some some death attack. One of those is dead, that's good. What's that? He can use three nasty magic attacks. I think it does almost hit now well. Despite the fact that the show's clearly hitting everyone. And luck also lucky for now let's say. Because the, the, uh, what's it called? The, right, the safety ring, mean, so he'll be fine for me. Getting hit with a nice rock. A nice mess. And I don't like seeing healing. There we go, both of those dinglings are dead. Yeah, you can use a quick hug, sure. I thought it was going to be. A little worried with the Dark Star, but luckily it's stuck in the mess, so... Let's see, are we going to have to beat the factory guy next, or...? And looks like we are going to have to fight him next, so... Let's go, round three. Which we actually fight the guy who's you're seeing here. I'll hit the well, hammer counters instead. This is gonna toughen you up because you're jumping. Not great, but. No, I wanted to start running it actually. But we're just under new mansion, we've got to beat a big owner. I'm fine if you can have a pal swap box. Because you're gonna have a boss, at least make it a different new model, okay? I'm just gonna have this same guy again. Oh, we just lost him. That's a little bit disconcerting. Can I kick that him? Jesus. Got a lot of sense. I mean, he is Jinx 3, so. Anyway, I'm gonna pull on the show and then have him throw a couple of Gino boosts. That's actually really help things out. What really helps is that Star just does a flat 100 damage, so unless you're affected by fear or whatever, so that should definitely help things out. Uh oh. I think that's based off melee. Yeah, it is. The physical attack, so yeah. That hurts a lot. So you got... Lisa. Attack. You hug everyone. And you give another boost to Pretzel again. 
more Mario. I'm not sure why he's called Pretzel. Probably just because of the coloration. And there's some coloration and some obvious things like that. Like there's a yellow one from Mario, there's a sort of one that's supposed to be reminiscent of the builder from the Super Mario Maker. for the Lucis Mallow itself. So you do that. Hope you can make these counters a little easier to deal with. And unless he spreads bombs, in which case he's just gonna clobber you. These are premium because they cost a frog point each. Mario, you can use a star coin. You can start, I bet you. So we can put all three of these guys. Four of them, actually. Not sure how many games will be summoned, but getting a few them out here should help lower the damage he deals at least. Oh, or I could just kill him right there. I'm fine with that. So first I think he just does a little cutscene where he gives us what's supposed to be the Jinx belt. Oh, he gives us a Molotov cocktail. And the six serpents. Nice. So now we're officially ready to fight Smithy. So first thing, of course, is save often. We're going to the game pretty low level, but we've got some really good equipment on us. So, whoops. There. So now we just gotta get to the casino. It's right up here in Bean Valley. Probably should unlock it the first time it's here, but I really want to just get into Nimbus Land. Bump right into B. Oh, we got two floors on top of each other. That's kind of weird. Yeah, if I didn't mention before, the bright card normally just lets you get to Great Guy's Casino, which isn't really that crazy. Like, it's got some side stuff. So Simon games and everything, like, earn frog coins, play, play some other cool, less than interesting mini games. But, but here if you go through the six star pieces in the bright card, you can talk to Great Guy, he'll work instantly to the, fight, to the fight with Smithy instead of having to go through all the factory bosses. Or whoever replaces them. Okay, no, that one is... Sir, you already just watered that. Please, sir. The other plants are dying. Sir. Sir. Your plants, they're starving. They're suffering. Please, sir, your other plants are suffering. They're, they're withering away as, we, as I speak. I'd say as we speak, but you're clearly not the one talking right now. Come on, sir, please. Help a plant in need. Sir. Sir. That one's drowning, buddy. You're watering it way too much. That one's okay. You don't, it doesn't need more water. Come on, sir. Water these plants. Sir. Sir. Please. And no, killing the plants will help because I'll keep just randomly choosing which ones to water. Okay, I think this is the one we want. I got a here. Okay, we go up here. We cast these enemies, including this. Get, get. Safe spot out here. Out of my way, guys. I'm here to gamble. No, well, okay, let's just save quickly at Monster Town again. Because I don't want to have to do a whole walk to go unlock the casino if I die. 
Let me check my items. I'm good on healing them since I have two people who can group hug, but I could definitely use some more royal syrups. And... Well, the syrup items, I'm not sure if there's a that's just flat out sells royal syrup. Let's see, what can I get rid of? I think that mushroom is going to be useful. The fire bomb, not really. Let's see, it won't be useful for the final boss. Bomb isn't going to be useful. Keep the crystal line and power blast because I can quickly pop those if somebody throws out a shredder. That should be good. Can you know my inventory because I know they're weak. Nope, no room. Okay. Let's go see if we can deal with Smithy. You already saw me. And here we go. Yep, let's go see him. Straight to the boss battle without even just talking to him. And he's already throwing out the victims. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Just want to hit and kill this guy just in case it throws out some, some nasty. Okay, now let's see how Starling does. 
cost a lot to empty, so... Something needs to see, Scott. We need to fix the damage to this guy. Or maybe you gotta empty over the units and drink some more syrup. I'm curious what honey syrup is. Just like straight, straight, straight bottle of honey, or is that a different sort of thing? Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach respect. And I shall have my revenge. No! Come on, you comedians. Kind of curious why he has to go around when he's not sure form all the time. Yeah, kind of things I guess is having his body, so. But it has its own music. But it's taking out eventually regenerates, so. It must also be a shredder now, so. Geno Beast isn't going to be part of the solution. Bunch of arrows at us. 
good. How many just attacking us is definitely one of his best nasty things we can do. Which isn't saying much, of course. Which is never good saying what saying. At least the best thing he can do is just attack us. I would say if there was a sun down here. And here comes his safe form. I think this just one is just really good tank hits. I think. I don't know that much about it. Well, I can, well obviously you can see things. Yeah. I might be wrong, but I think this one knows Shredder. This form at least. Enough damage that his body's disabled. I'm gonna just like a path just to see what this safe form is going to do if I can get it. Oh, it's, it's ice. Well, let's see. Don't have anything I can do that, sadly. This mellow doesn't have snowy, so. And we're just gonna have to keep throwing out the star egg. Very good art from a from my pocket Super Mario RPG Pocket Armageddon mod where uh, his body's back. That's basically what he's saying there. Okay, time for the cut of cola. And free the nice. So I'll turn it off a bit. Sounds better on this because earlier I had a problem with the mic work. Turning it too much had this little stack effect that was going on in the background. Okay, Kino can still do some good damage through there. That's the only thing that damaged the body at least. Not too bad. Let's watch this video afterwards to see how bad the mic 
turning on my mic is for this. Or if I'll just have to change the desktop audio. In my go to I'm a little bit worried about throwing on the offense at least, but... I'll probably throw the defense at least, because that's what I can say. Think for the Koopa shell, but so. right, at least with the shell you can actually get. At least the shell's normally just such a good damaging weapon that you don't notice the variants, but that, there was the variants there. I think this version's weak against fire, this is head, but I don't remember. Here's one of those unnamed magic attacks, but luckily it didn't do anything. Because that's like you've probably seen that Mirror Katina isn't completely immune to status effects. Even on the list nerd. And Gina boost uh Zelda for the defense. Oh yeah. And it's gone twice. Even worse. Well, you smell it dodged it. Okay. Pick up Mario. Give everyone a hug. And come on. And boost yourself a power just so we don't lose. Goes Mario. And Gino Super in Let's go for uh, Star, just damage both of them. I just forgot to heal the party, so...
Number one, that one's pretty tough. I'll just have Mario give a hug in a second. But at least in this one, I can actually deal some decent damage with Thunderbolts. In fact, I have no clue how to do the timing on that full attack. And a run low pick me up, so. That's a thing. Let's do some more again to make sure he doesn't die so quickly. Party that actually cares about status effects, but not us. Okay, we're just format. I think has the least defense, so that's good. At least we get some good damage off of it. There we go. And it's time. If I have a timer, at least. I right, gotta do the whole. S oh, hold your hands up in your thing to get the star. It's not gonna just fly into your hands if you're not gonna put any effort. the game. I'm not sure how much the ending is going to play, but it's a good stream. I'm not probably going to actually do a little bit more because I kind of want to do a couple days of Stardew Valley just, just because. I'll go fix it, update on Nightbot and stuff while I'm waiting. While you're all watching Gino send back to Star Huff and where he'll 
wait until his brief cameo in Mario RPG and Luigi, and, and then probably never get shown again because that's how the game is. Because that's how Square Enix or whatever is. Well, time to get that doll to Mallow. Mario looks so weird with his concerned face there. Saw the, all that pesky dialogue. Because let's be honest, you didn't come here for dialogue. You came here to watch me run through the game with everything all randomized and such. Right? Right. And we can finally clear out Exer's corpse from the top of Bowser's castle. an hour and a half more more just some sturdy valley and then we can finish up here so and meanwhile Mallow's only come a king or a prince one guy goes off to presumably getting some court intrigue because that's how it be with the monarchies because I've played enough I've seen enough Crusader Kings to know how it works I'll just being as good boss as he usually is. Johnny's just sitting at the ocean. Glad he can finally get back after that weird stint in Nimbus land. A whole bunch of random cloud people mobbed him because he's a pirate and holy crap, we haven't seen a pirate in years. Yoshi's doing some races and crocos. Let's give him some good old performance enhancing drugs. You're supposed to give them to yourself, Croc, not your friend. I'm not your rival. Over here we've got Dudovsky playing, singing his music, which is going to go on to be used. He's copyright free in lots of video games. Especially all the old Cusa Grande ones. I know it's kind of a thing with Scott Rashad Tchaikovsky's new skit music. Well, Johnny's getting married to Mario. Ain't that nice? AK, it's supposed to be Valentina and Booster, but here it's. it's Mar here Johnny's getting married to Xor, also AK Angry T posing Mario. So remember, that's how it's. And a good thing from Mario and Peach. Finally returns to their normal colors. Thank you so much for playing my game. We're supposed to get a parade where Luigi finally shows up, but I think we've seen enough. It's, it's about time we get to do, doing some farming, don't you think? I think so. I'm just gonna load up. I've started rally right now. I'm gonna take a quick break. You just hang around and I'll be right back.
we're back with some Stardew Valley. It's good finishing up that Mario Randomizer, but time to get back to the farm. So let's see, it's Sunday the 7th. Just want to check the calendar to make sure or there's no, nothing special going on today. In game, at least. I know we have that summer that fall festival going on, Stardew Valley Fair on the 16th. I feel like I've got a good chance of getting the first prize there. Let's see. Nothing going on today, although Blackberry season is starting up in just a few days. And by a few days, I mean literally tomorrow. So let me just review what we need for the center. Thanks for arson button, though we need to get lucky with the cloth again. From the soggy newspapers, some cheese and some fruits. And possibly truffle oil, which is way too much for me. Gotta grow a pumpkin, which is on its way. We have duck egg and some wool, which should be coming soon. And we need to get a cow for some milk. Winter fortune, obviously is in winter. Fall bundle, we obviously need money. And from, let's see, bulletin board, we need a truffle again. That's a big one. A duck feather we should be getting soon. That, that can be found in the winter, and this stuff is like, gonna get a pomegranate. But the wine is on the way, and the rabbit's foot also is worth working on. Oh, I don't think it shows the completed bundles anyway, already. Okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna donate the cloth to the center, actually. I actually got some from the. Oh, hey, Emily. Hey, Mac, good morning. Doing well. The farm looks great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Home three. So you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? I have some in my bag right now. Was there really you can come use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to the shrine machine. I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use any time. That's cool, Emily. Unfortunately, I'm going to be using giving this to the June most, but to start tailing, you'll need a piece of cloth and a signature item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. There's a whole bunch of it, but I'm kind of fine with this stuff for now, especially since, again, I'm focusing on trying to get raise money. Ooh, fish tacos from Linus. Nice. Get some water for Lola. Hey, Lola, it's good seeing you today. So much fun to be around, especially when you and Bergy are all playing. She's a good girl. Bird can be pretty rambunctious and isn't a big fan of being pet, but we still love him. Yeah, I was wondering, thinking you could get pine cones out of those. Be useful for making more steel snacks if we need those. And I should have just enough. Cool. Check on the bats in the cave. See what kind of shrooms they have. Nothing too special. And get back to the main watering. I think I just take a quick look down to the side, see if I can find anything. So I did a bit of research on what exactly the best crops for fall. And in terms of money, it looks like cranberries are going to be the big winner. So once I get a lot of these smaller crops harvested, at least, you know, the kinds that you just harvest once and they're done. I'm definitely going to turn to cranberries for my money. Because again, we're going to need money if we want to unlock the bus and get to the desert. And the desert has some pretty useful stuff in there. Like, the desert Trader has some neat items I can buy. There's a... There's a skull cavern which I can start working on. I can buy some beets because I know there's... A, they're going to be important for that quest from Mr. Queer, whatever that that strange note we got. I'm pretty sure these are the cranberry bushes right here I'm watering right now. They might look a lot like the coffee plants I had, so just had to think for a sec to make sure I didn't somehow get coffee plants in fall. Because they don't, they don't grow in the fall, sadly, so this coffee isn't going to last. Is there anything I use just iron ore for it? Oh, just bombs. Okay. Because there is a use for bombs in the desert caverns. Skull cavern, because there's an enemy who's literally can't be killed unless you have explosives. Anyway, time to let the chickens out. 
and the ducks. Morning, girls. As you, oh, we got a duck egg. Nice. We want to look for the bundle. Let's see. Stuff away. Not much. Keep the corn to make it into corn oil and put away the duck egg in the cloth and then probably try and do some fishing today because it's gonna like, really use the money. What bundles do we need for the exactly for the vault? Let's see the 10k and the 25k. Part of me kind of want to save up save up for the 25k so we can get that crystal anthem or whatever it is. Pretty fancy item you can get, which is clones gems, and that means I can basically have infinite diamonds. Cover me in diamonds. Pretty sure that's a song, but I'm not not versed enough in pop culture to know where it's from. Let's see, right. Need to bring this into the pantry, and this into. Okay, both in the pantry. Got it. for the pantry and the duck egg. Good. Making good progress. I here want to sell some stuff to Pierre. Because I forgot to put away the mayo. New quest. First off, hi Jody. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, you want some quartz harp? Yeah, I can get that. Hey, Pierre, got some mayo to sell. And I'll solve the corn. Yeah, I know. Fall's a great time. And right, I had that prismatic jelly quest, but... I'm not really having much luck with that. Might have to skip that one for now. I've got my coffee. Gotta drink that if I want to get moving. Hang on, gotta see what what do I need for the best coop? Cause that's one where rabbits come in, and rabbits give me some wool and this. It's twenty k, five hundred wood, and two hundred stones. So, yeah, gonna be a lot. So let's grab that quartz. Need, I think I'm good. Kind of want to get some food. I'll take some bread just in case I need it while I'm fishing. Kind of want to get a good dose of put a fish in the middle of the lake because, again, gonna need all the money. Hey, Haley. Well, yeah, I'm not one for run running around the forest myself, but at least in real life. See me mentioning the crates. Nope. And time to go to the beach. We should go digging for all these. It's a nice pizza. Ocean Forge. Get some more trash out of here. Including the soggy newspaper, which may be key to getting some more cloth. My big question is what I'll do if I'll get more cloth, because there's a few different uses for it other than just selling it. There's. Let's see. 
I know we can use it to make a mill, which is pretty useful because it can, can be used for a spinner. So yeah, I'll probably just save it for the mill because we can get four of those and we can finally make use of some of these items that we've got. Like, like the wheat, beets, and rice and get those all milled up into good stuff that I can actually use. Sorry about that, didn't know that. Just focus on. Just gonna make this work for a second. Let me. Again, this is my first time using OPS, so it's a little weird. Capture window. Should. It's not showing sure the value in here. Oh well, this works for now. Again, I'm a learning house stream, so don't expect like fancy displays, all sorts of animated stuff and fanciness, but just expect someone trying to do their best for, to help others. And you know, have some fun and maybe meet some new people. Maybe it's where I'm fishing, but the ocean really doesn't seem to have much here. There's a lot of anchovies and sardines. Let me go try the pier. Maybe we can get something better from here. Hey, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I, I'm, I'm capable enough to actually water it with seawater and not kill my crops. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of special that way. All right, I'm getting an iridium rod. That's... I'll consider that, but again, I kind of want to get up to the either the best coop or the... 25k I need for the best bundle. Well, the most expensive thing in the cash bundle. I'm starting to think maybe the ocean isn't the best for the fall. Unless I've just not been getting very lucky in terms of fish. Yeah, I'm gonna go try the forest river. Just drink my coffee and let's get going. Zoom! Let's run into the trash cans for pine cone and the soda. Oh, I think I can actually access Robin's house now. I can't, but no, there's no cutscene. Thought there'd be one. Okay. Hey, Mary Lewis. Yep, that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I'm very well rounded. All oh, right, traveling traders today. Let's see what she's got. Come on, truffle. Stuffing, that's delicious, but no. Radishes, no. Mm. Not really. Well, I'm here to get a bit of wood since, again, I'm really going to need that stuff for the coupon. Getting the barn for expanding the coop and getting the barn set up. And I do want to get the barn set up, I mean, the big coop set up as soon as possible because the it's going to take because rabbits are up the rabbit's feet based on how much they like you so. But it's gonna take a while to actually get them to like me through petting and feeding them good. He's not for 
pretty lucky with the fishing today. And I'll take the soggy newspaper because I can turn it into cloth, hopefully, but still not very... There's the fish I'm looking for. Come on, bud. Need you need for money. Got two more spaces with inventory for the stuff, so come on. Let's see what you got. Man, are all fish as lazy as you, buddy? Here's your new record. That's nice, but still. Come on. Pardon me, bud. Gotta go grab some sunken treasure. Okay. Now I'm gonna take in. So we got just some copper ore. That's useful. I mean... Again, I can use it to make some cherry bombs, which will be useful once I get into the desert. We'll drop some of the stuff off. I'll refill you in a bit, buddy. Hold on. Oh, got that wine ready. Be sure to deliver that tomorrow for the the center. Put some of this spare trash in here. I'll throw the wine here for now, just so I don't forget it in the morning. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I'll grab some corn to put in there. Oil press or whatever. There we go. Alright, what goes well in the melon press? I mean, the keg for booze. <laughs> okay, I'll probably put in the hops then. Again, I got a lot of them. I can probably make some pale ales. There we go. Almost out of bait, unfortunately. Wait, I can't build a worm bin soon. How? I need some gold, wood, gold iron, and fiber for that. There's not much stopping me from getting a decent supply of bait. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's how it always is. Retail sucks. That's where he works, I think, in Joja Mart. People here seem decent. So I don't seem like the kind of person who will shriek at you for, for not knowing exactly where the park they want is and demand to see your manager. Just double checking how much space I have. I have a decent amount. Honestly, the only limit is going to be my energy. spoon. I can give that to Penny because she's actually likes that for some reason. It's starting just a bit extra energy. I don't think I need normal quality. I can probably make them into sashimi because that's that should help out with their ener how much energy they give me. Not to mention that I think that also increases their base value.
You know, think about it. I think there's a place or two in that big crop field that can actually place its sprinkler down. As in, there's a spot that's empty from stuff and I can just fit it down without having to move any crops right now. Hey, Robin. I mean, Leah. I get those two mixed up because you both have the orangish hair. I wonder if I can actually get a cutscene with her now. Let's see. No, no it's too late. Oh, hey, Abigail. Let's just add you quickly. Aw. I wouldn't mean that in a nice way, because I like that purple. It's cool. It's fitting for someone with a bit of a magic who might have a bit of a magical background. So, you know, there's the whole implication that, that he's a, she's actually the wizard's daughter. Okay, let's see. Okay. I go get some, a bit of hardwood tonight. I'm gonna go chop on some of these big old stumps that keep regenerating. Kind of curious where all these big stumps keep coming from. Not that I'm complaining, but it's kind of funny just seeing these pop up every night. Like, clear this big one out. Get the space in the actual farm. I can hear the bats coming. Or maybe not. Oh, it's over in the skull now. Good source of fiber and mixed seeds. But there's the bat. And it's one of those icy slimes. Okay, I'm just thinking quickly. Just gotta make some space. Well, of course I can just make some space by actually dropping it. Ooh, nice! We've got more cloth. Yeah, that will, that'll do. I think there's a recipe I can make with oil and mushrooms. Let me get from Demetrius. Let's see. Where was it? Fried mushroom, I, th mushroom, I think it is. There it is. Oh, and you have moral as well. Okay. Summer crops, unless you can get access to the desert and get the star fruit, but this kind of slows down how much they get from them. But invest in me, and I'd say okay, there's a spot where you get the sprinkler. What do I need for quality one? Iron, gold, refined quartz. Let's just pull some all this stuff out and get a good look. As soon as I just make a bit more of my inventory. Grab all three of these bars. Oh, sorry, I heard that. Someone just messaged me on Steam. Riding fiber. How much of that do I have? Okay, get a worm bin. Good. Hey, I'm an artisan. Now, the thing is, you don't have to place all your stuff on the farm. You can place some of it off of it, like. Swarm bin. I'll just put right here and I'll make a few worms every day. And cool. Good supply bait. It's not much bait, but it'll, it's a steady supply. Right, drop off the jelly. Let me put the hazelnuts. I think I put the cooking oil in here. 
Because fridge is like a special chest where if anything you store in there can be used for cooking. Hey, lovely foraging. Get more berries, and I can get a farm totem now. Decent money today. <laughs> Let's check the weather tomorrow, because I really forgot to check it today. Nice day. Spirits are a little unhappy. Just briefly checking to see where the where it was. Sorry about that. Just... Let's see the cranberries are ready. Get more of this, this calm fall music. Two things put in there. In the center, I mean. Couple things to recycle. And I can see the blackbird bushes are already ready. Hey, Lola Bug. Home music is so relaxing. Put some loop when you're trying to relax and do my stuff. Let's check the mushroom cave. Nothing but comments today. That's okay. Anyway, time for watering. If I remember the chickens and, and bring it, let them outside. Do ducks not produce eggs today? Huh. Let me add a bit more hay. I'm just a little concerned all of a sudden. Okay, there's one. Must have been hidden by the thing. Okay. Anyway, we got cranberries. Delicious, delicious cranberries. And very profitable, too, from what I heard. Again, most of these are going to go into preserve jars because they can generate a lot of money when you get them and they're preserved. It's a bit slower than selling them outright, but I kind of want to get them more money in the long run. Down here, you almost always forget about. Oh, got a train. I'm sure to check on that in a bit. Let's go check on that train quickly. Girl. And of course, big thing about this 
going on this way is get those blackberries. Mmm, delicious blackberries. Tongue stains never tasted so good. Oh, hey, Linus. What you got for me today, train? I'm not seeing much of your bounty around here so far. drop something when they drive by. This is what I've been let's believe. I'm gonna take this cop orange stuck up because but yeah that's depressing. I guess you actually have to be there when the train's driving by. Let's go drop that stuff off the, the center. The wine and the uh, other thing. I thought there's another thing I could donate. Maybe it's just, ma I'm just imagining. Oh well, at least we can get this wine donated. Brand new bud, gotta get some booze for the wizard. You know how he gets when he's, when he's sober. I think looking at those blackberries really can help me get keep my energy up. Oh, don't worry. I've been around here for a while, Lewis. Give you a spoon. Cool. Hey Penny, you like jokes about the tick? Spoon. Yeah, it is special. At least I think so. So let's see. Lots of... I gotta get some bugs. Juicy bug guts. I can do that. Now we're gonna have to go into the mines and kill a lot of bugs. Let's see, which part of the mines are they usually located at? Oh, sorry about that. Pug is where, whatever. I just have that up because usually, just in case people like to try and spam like some less wholesome ones. You know how it is. If, if it's something that you want to show me, you can just let me know and I can try and give you permission. Just run up here, grab Blind's basket. Give it more coffee in me. There it is. I'll bring it back. Don't worry, game. You don't have to sell me twice. Well, plum. I'll take that. Okay, so it's just gotta be bug meat, not bug. Not like the bait in general. Good to know. Off the fertilizer for now. And anything else I'm forgetting that I'm gonna need to put away? Alright, get some corn out to get the oil maker running. Did I put the cranberries in here? Yes, I did. Okay, so just 
quickly run through South Area just so I can see if there are any how many blackberries there are. Oh, I think I see what they meant that by stuff that got damaged. This path's gone. I can fix that. Let's see. There we go. I just gotta get some bait out for the fish. Oh, crab pot. I see pan. Let's go pan him. That's gone, dang it. Gotta say, I'm not sure how the stuff from the glittering rock got in that pond. Hey, Jazz. Everything stay? Do a quick loop around here, grab any berries I find. Maybe chop down a couple trees just so I can. Because it's always going to be an important resource for me. Need more coffee. from my heart it's useful to clear the stuff out so it'll help forges appear more often. I keep forgetting about the fast travel system I unlocked. You know, by getting the minecarts running. Oops, some mushroom now grab. And go over to Clint so I can take the minecart up to the mines. Yeah, I know that feeling. Ever played Rhythm Doctor? Because they sort of talk about that a bit as well. Ooh, nice, I got some in my bag as well. Yeah, you saw me playing that. That was definitely sort of a theme in the game with just Dr. Page and Ian just getting overrun with work as, as their supervisor decides not to get, hire more staff, just decides to go run the skeleton crew. And then stage three, you have to help p save Page from a complete breakdown. At least get some cool musical doing it. Okay, I think he should be up here. There he is. I know I'm in your reward. Oh well. You still got friendship. Health. What's friendship with me? Almost full. Cool. You know, I'd probably like if I gave him some blackberries, because you know he's pretty easy to, to please. I think once you get to level ten, your your uh, your relationship stop doesn't deteriorate. Ooh, pretty short sure can't axe. AK is slightly sharpened stone. Okay, let's see. Drop time to drop off for the usual dropping stuff off. I'm not gonna need. Drop those things off. The copper pan I don't need. The cloth, the seeds, the trash. Yeah, it's definitely in eleven to thirty is where bugs are usually are. Hold on, just one sec. Sorry about that, just checking with that friend on Steam. They're just letting me know if they got the vaccination. They're asking if I got it too. What vaccination? You know, COVID. Just just in case you didn't know. But yes, it sounds like we're getting the final phase rolled out April 2nd, so hopefully I should be able to get it soon and 
things to slowly start to return to normal. Wouldn't that be a relief? Just being able to hang out with all my friends again and go to some big public events. Mm, that'd be ni that'd be nice. What sort of stuff are you folks looking forward to doing once the pandemic ends? I don't definitely mean my group, the New Hampshire first, are gonna be doing some big events during get together once this all blows over. So again, the big thing here is gotta get 100 bug meat men placed in the barrels, so. We're gonna be doing the mines a decent bit. To get up a copper ore. Like I said, the copper ore itself is going to be useful for, for making cherry bombs. And, which again will be useful for the skull cavern because otherwise I'm not going to be able to kill mummies to get their precious loot. Probably should have came down here earlier in the day, but. Fight me, bugs. I know you're around here. Yeah, there we go. Come face me, bugs. I'm not afraid of ya. I've been all the way for the mines, so how can you swarm me is nothing. Remember this, you little diglet. And always worth checking these bushes for mixed seeds, and because fiber is starting to become important again. Excited to get the vaccination. Our family's person about getting the Johnson Johnson one because apparently that went through a few more of the major channels for approval. And Mom just trusts that one more apparently. I personally don't know much about which ones are best, but I'll just go with what Mom suggests. Your random patrol bug. Easy bugs right here. Okay, just drink this coffee so I'll be able to get home in time before I pass out. Right on over to the bus stop so I can get my worms. So my chickens. Double check to make sure I'm not missing out anything. Here are some miscellaneous stuff in the meantime. All, all my energy. Kill that slime because I can't need to feed my bloodlust. And get home before I pass out. Good day. I realized we left some stuff in the chest, but again, I can check it. 
tomorrow when I go back to get some more bug meat. Unfortunately, this may take away from my work actually getting the stuff for the money bundle, but I think I get some good stuff from doing these special orders, so. <laughs> What's the weather today? More sunny? Neutral spirits? Look at Autumn's Bounty. Starting festival. Tangle up my headphones there. Okay, we've got to get in order to get some of those wheat peas away. I think I can sell the crab. I have something in here to give away to the center. Maybe I put in the. Yeah, I might have put away in the. In the mine chest. Hi, Lullabug. How's my girl doing? We've got the frog troubles already. Forge on my inventory. Speaking of which, what's my forging level? Eight. Yeah, I'll yeah, be fine with selling this. We've got some other stuff to sell, it looks like. Let's just let the chickens out. When a dinosaur egg will hatch. Should be soon. I'm kind of curious how they are compared to actual chickens in real life. Like, do people farm ducks for their eggs or anything? It's kind of curious thing I'm wondering now. I'm guessing the answer is no, but I'm just curious now. Just any one of those questions I'm probably going to Google afterward. Look at the apple. I'm getting water five at a time now. This should be all of them. So this grass gets more hay for the, for the birds. Alright, there were two left in here still. Let me grab those. Three, rather.
Pretty sure it's a type micro already. Two more seeds. Right. I'm not sure what those are exactly, but it looks like they're the same type. And uh, anything else it needs to do? Grab that so I can give it a penny. I'm gonna drop this pale ale. Didn't know I had that ready. Oh. oh, I guess just a regular flesh. I thought there was something special behind there. So let's see, I'll probably get some cranberry seeds from Pierre. Let's see. 12, 13, 18, 21, 22, 24, 26. Okay. It doesn't look like tech that long to grow, so should be fine. seeds, give Penny a drum, and then go into the mine and start getting some, some bug meat. They might be able to get one, but I'm not sure, so we'll see. That's why I can occasionally just pull up some cool pirate treasure in some of the chests sometimes. Oh, maybe that's why there's so many pirate treasure chests. Pirate. Well, the Sorry. Why there's so many treasure chests you can get when fishing. Oh, Penny's not here? Okay. Okay, time for more bug hunting. Uh, yeah, that's why I meant to put, give to the museum. Anyway, time for the usual. Put some of this junk away that I'm not going to be using. And that seems good. I'll start on floor 20 this time, so that way there's hopefully a better chance of finding bigger groups of bugs. I see ya. Don't think you can hide from me, bud. There you go. And I realize now that I'm going to need some energy to plant all these cranberry seeds and water them, but I'm not too worried about that because I think I can put down a few sprinklers first we're in the second Easter plot. And not to mention that I got a bunch of blackberries I can eat if need be. Ooh, some rice shoots. That'll be good for the spring. No, I almost forgot to drink my coffee today. Here, get a copper. I'll take that. gets up deep enough in the mine sometimes stuff like those mushrooms can spawn in, oh, in earlier floors. I see a bunch of bugs over there. Here he goes. 
a big pelt maybe over on your sweet. That doesn't mean you can hide. None from you? Jeez, you ungrateful little. How many do I have? One fifth of the way there. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Especially since I'm caffeinated. It's like so I can just quickly get from rock to rock. Spring rolls around. I'm really gonna have to get a coffee plantation to start up because being able to remove fast is pretty nice. There's this French song that I have on iTunes called Le Café, which is like some... I don't know the exact name of the band, but I remember seeing it in like a... a music video on like some top 10 animation things on YouTube once, several years back. Basically, it's a whole song about how some guy, some French guy's life is ruined by his addiction to coffee. You know, it starts out nice, having coffee in the morning, and then having another coffee with his wife when she wakes up before he goes to work. And then by the end, it ends with him shoving an old lady on the railway, throwing the secretary out the window, and then punching his kid when, he's, when he wants to tell his dad just how good of a job he's doing at school. And music video takes up even further, like... When he shoves the lady in the rails, it feels like the... whips out a big old cartoon route, and, and as he swings it down the train past the fine windows, he's like, slam down the hammer on her, and then just, like, tear her up with a chainsaw. That's what an image sort of looks like. Make sacrifices. Uh, thought I had trash in my in here. Must have wisely gotten rid of it. So, sorry, cookies. And at the end of the video, that means we have got to mention just like melts into a puddle of brown liquid. Yeah, it's like, you thought having a heart explode was the worst thing cough could do to you? Think again. I should be around here. Again, don't mind me having these random bugs attacking me, because that means more bug me. And I need, need a lot of that for Willy. Geodes, though. Definitely gonna have to turn those in on Wednesday. You showing up, ladder, or are you gonna hide from me? Let's make a little more room in here. Uh, I don't think I need the cake or the that these flowers. Uh, I'll throw the jade away for now and in the corn for now. Again, the fact that the crowd kind of bounces around with for a few seconds before you can click that makes me think that's still semi alive when you killed a uh, rock crab. <laughs> Some poor things just be screaming, begging for you not to pick it up, and then you just stuff it in your bag. Okay, screw you, I want a crab dinner tonight. Let's 
see a whole bunch of bugs over on the left. But I don't want to get that slime first, because, again, the reward for getting a thousand slimes is actually a decent one. Gives you a ring that basically makes slimes not attack you anymore. Which is actually get useful later in the future for when we get a slime hutch. Definitely late game thing, but... Again, could be nice. How are we doing on bug meat? 40%. Doing pretty good in the bug meat. And I won't say no to cherry bombs, because again, I can use those in the future if I'm really in a pinch or just need to. Need to come money me, just need to clear out a whole bunch of stuff or whatever. down here, head back up, and time to get, get my stuff planted. Okay, what do I need? This to sell. Hang on to these, put those. Grab that to here's the museum tomorrow, and grab that for Penny. Other than that, I should be good. Plant those cranberries. Oh, yeah, right, there's the two spots with sprinklers I was thinking about. Okay, what do you need for quality sprinklers again? Let's recap. One iron, one gold, one refined. Okay. There we go. That makes two. Nice. Save me some time in the morning. Get the initial watering done. Excellent. And just to make off my property slime. Don't need your weird, weird iciness messing up my farm. Just thinking a little bit more. Still the cloth in here for now since I also kind of use this for building materials. Uh, along with the fiber. I'll just throw in a whole bunch of coal in here for now. When I got three seeds I can plant. Let's see. I should have just enough to be able to plant these and not get worn out. There we go. Anything else I want to put away? Uh, put the rice sheets in here, I think. Where's another place I put them? There we go. I'll put the oil in the fridge and then time for bed. Good night, Lola. Probably gonna do one more day of this. Anyway, let's see how much money I have now. Should be getting pretty close to the big bundle. Well, then again, I spent some money yesterday, so then again, maybe not. Hang on, I kinda wanna check. What do I get for that cash bundle? For the 10k. A lightning rod. I don't really need that, so yeah, I'm gonna save for the big one. Anyway, let's see. Weather. Cloudy. Spirits. Grumpy. Ooh, tortilla. I must have missed that one. 
Good thing I checked. Check on the ducks and get my mail. Ducks not me produce eggs as often. Grass out there. Ah. There we go, that should help out. One more corn oil is done. One more I can put in there. And again, I have to remember that I can get multiple batches from there. And roll the bug. I think the maple syrup is ready. Just see right down there. Mmm, all those blackberries. Delicious. It is Wednesday, so I can't go check out Pierce Store. But it's still good time, so probably a good time to go to mines. Everyone for any mushrooms I have? Hang on, gotta get the last blackberry bush. Some common shrooms and morals. Let me get your water lola bug. There you go. Let's get the rest of these watered. Too. Go in here, grab the apple, and quickly refill the watering can. Get this watering done. Doesn't look like I'll get the EM for. Who was it wanted the pan? EM? Caroline, yeah. Not gonna be able to do that one, unfortunately, because. I'm not going to be able to grow it in time. But it was worth checking at least, just to make sure. I think I got every one of them. Okay, so what next? Uh, The usual stuff and uh, go into town and drop off some stuff at Gunther and, and uh, yeah, let's see. Joey's done. Something I could probably give to Penny. Let's see. Thought I did. Probably in the chest up at the mines. My daily dose of bait. Up here to grab the. Oh, I guess I left it somewhere else. 
Hmm. Oh well. Drop a gun and Clint to drop off their stuff. Hmm. Just think about upgrading my tools, maybe. Again, I kind of want to save it for that crystal thing, so. Drop off hand axe. gotta save one for the juniors, but you know, that's how it is. Okay, once again, time to drop stuff up I'm not gonna need. Oh, let's go bug hunting. and fight in here. Those will definitely be useful. For some reason I thought there was a little bomb that fell out of there. I was just trying to figure out what the hell that was. That's me think. It could certainly date that the ability for bombs to just randomly spawn from rocks and blow you up. Because that would be pretty rude. Kind of reminds me like how the in Legend Link to the Past, the wishes could just randomly have entire guards and you cut them open or they're just landmines. Because apparently, in the world of Hyrule, they have gunpowder, but they only use it for landmines and stop people from mowing lawns. Anyway, we're halfway done with Willy's special orders. That's good news. what I get from him for get it being that special quest. I should check the wiki, but I kind of wanted to just get this day done with. After this day, I'll probably call it a day streaming. I still just want to do like some chill multiplayer stream tomorrow. By multiplayer, I mean mostly single player by... Like, I play multiplayer games, but... But still, you know what I mean. Space Station 13. It's a fun game, but I don't know. It's not that I don't like it, it's just. I guess sometimes I wish I could be an antagonist role more often, maybe. I mean, that's just what's kind of. I'm thinking. Well, it's just. Because you know how it is. You know. Aren't you tired of being, being nice? Don't you just wish you could go ape shit? And yeah, ape, I do. I think that's just occasions to be able to actually just totally murder someone for being for being obnoxious in the game. Ooh, Topaz. Oop, I see one of those two special stones in fact. There's another one of those, you know, slightly purplish with a bit of a spiral pattern on it. Come my coffee, let's go get it. And gank a whole bunch of bugs along the way as well. This is my first threat. Right. Oh, I was panicking for a second because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get past that. But I can. And I did. Ooh, three. Nice, more gems. Ooh, and a bunch of crates to bust. And sli- And bugs to slice open as well. So they're delicious, delicious meat. Found parry box inside there. Ain't that nice? Well, I'm here gonna go give this to the dwarf while I'm around. Just get on my inventory and just to help my relationship with them. Not 
heart rate? No, buddy, but at least giving you that scroll. probably turn that into the adventure skill just to sell it quickly. What do we got for swords anyway? Half a katana is definitely a good one, but damn, 2.5k, that's definitely too much. tasks they have anyway. I've got the skeleton and cave insects done, so. Getting close to the Dougie's one. I wonder what that one gives. Can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, time to put some more junk away. Which isn't necessarily junk, just stuff that takes up single inventory spaces, so I want to get some more room. Drink the soda. More bugs to crush. little thing about killing all the monsters in the floor is that makes it slightly more likely to find the stairs when you hit, break a rock. Hmm, blue bear, blackberry, blackberry buffs. And some more worms. Almost three quarters of the way there. This makes 75. Making good progress. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I'll stream Super Animal Royale tomorrow. Maybe an hour or two, because I know a bunch of people like that game and a pretty good community. I think I only had one person. I had the one person on there who's real jackass. Just some person in the lobby was saying, just being transphobic, just saying kill them. And you know, my response was, "Where's how do I report people?" Because there's like a report button post smash. I think like if people are teaming up when they aren't supposed to in solo mode. But I haven't seen them since, so I'm pretty sure got, they got reported. I do apologize for mentioning that kind of brings some bad stuff up, but I'm just m mentioning that as an example of how most of the time that doesn't happen, so. So I mean well. That's what I try to be, just well-meaning, you know. Try and help out, and you know, if I do something bad, I appreciate you telling me, because I don't, don't want to be good and be helpful. Just trying to be a bit of good in this world. Which will to suffer extra life. If you want to throw some money their way, you can always type exclamation point donate. I'll bring up a link to, to the page where you can just toss them some money. It's showing the Miracle Network hospitals. It's like signing those hostels across the United States and Canada and they provide pediatric care to families in need. Seems mine today, and then you know, I'll probably call it a night. And don't forget, that I'm also going to be trying to stream Wednesday because that's when the Binding of Ice Repentance comes out, and that's something I've been looking for a for a while. Because Binding of Ice is a game I really enjoyed, so it's going to be real fun to get to play it again with all the new features, especially the ones that came from the Anti Birth mod. Because I just don't know the mod's backstory. That's where it came from, like. Basically, some side mods for the original rebirth that came with a bunch of cool 
new areas, bosses, and puzzles. And, and of course, Ben. Edmund liked it so much, apparently, that he decided to get them to help out and make into an official expansion pack. And I know there are people who always decide it because, you know, keep adding stuff to the game and stuff, but I don't know. I like it, so, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain. Besides, there are way worse game developers out there to about you know like the death of that game heartbeat who turns up he trains philbrick or plenty other folks is what i'm trying to say Bugs, I ain't afraid. Tear your guts and use them to go fishing. that when the ladder is literally right here. I don't, I don't know I'm wasting. I'm just being weird. I'm actually these pine just so I can put some of those in the recycler. And let's get going. Got some booze ready. I'm not sure if PLL is used for anything other than, you know, just that one quest and selling. Save this for Pam actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save this for some other time. Shouldn't be too much more effort to get that last 10. What well, this chest is for? I think it's gonna be for like more of the mine stuff once I went out of room. Lola over in the other room. Hey, level up my mining. That's nice. <laughs> so that's going to be it for the stream, folks. It's good seeing you today. I'll see you next time, but let me just try and find some trade since... Not a good day today. Let's see. I'm trying to do Ty's two days. Looks like he's playing some. Ooh, Kirby Air Raid. That's a good one. Let's see you tomorrow, folks. I'll be at 1 p.m. assuming nothing goes wrong. Good seeing you, folks. Bye bye. Just a few seconds and it should raid. There we go. I'm 
that's not rating. Shit. Okay. 